Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenosaga Episode 3. Alright, the uh, other pathway to that other chest, uh, that doesn't open up just yet. We're gonna have to um, do some stuff up here for that. Um, I've changed our party formation around slightly. It just uh, popped out Xion for now and put Chaos in. Um, Chaos cannot be crystallized by Gnosis, so I'm gonna uh, keep him around for a little while, and... I'm not sure, I mean, his, uh, uh, special attack has leveled up to, uh, level two, but I know it's supposed to absorb Gnosis, so I'm not sure if that means that it, uh, increases level faster when used against Gnosis or not, so I'm just gonna try and do that a little bit, um, you know, little test out sort of thing. Uh, I don't know one way or the other. Um... Looks like we've got some points. Uh, I did. I didn't do grinding per se, but uh, I did fight everything that was in the way. Uh, so we do have a few more points. Uh, let's see. Um, let's go for hit points plus one hundred. We are gonna need that coming up. Uh, let's see. I got you ev more evasion and more strength and agility. Um, let's go with more strength. And Cosmos, uh, Ether Defense could be good. Hit points would be good too. Um, I don't know if we need that right now. Um, let's go with the hit points. I think that might be pretty good. Uh, Shion does not have enough points. Momo, ooh. Break Arrow 1. That could be useful uh, coming up. Small Break Attack for Ziggy. That could be useful. Let's go with that. Uh, Junior doesn't really have anything that I want. Um, so I'm tempted to... get that just so that that's unlocked. Um, but... Locked and ready might be good. A uh, small break attack, that would be good. Um, hmm. Let's go with the beam. Alright. So that's that. Let's see, did I already, uh... Do this? Oh! Well. No, I did not. And, um... Now we've got some enemies to uh, fight over there. See, does this go anywhere? Nope. Hello! Uh-oh. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. Dang it! I'll handle this. So I'm not sure who I'm going to use. There is, of course, an upcoming boss battle. I'm not really sure who I'm going to be using overall. It'll probably end up being uh, some swapping, though. Ow! Man, these guys hurt. Well... Let's go ahead and use that special attack, Phoenix Strike. I mean, like I said, it is level 2. We won. Excellent. Um, salt Pillars, by the way, if I didn't mention it earlier, are um, they're a bargain item, or a barter item, so you can use them just for cash. Dang it! Alright, fine. Take you out, you're pretty easy. Ow! Man, these things hurt a bit. All systems functioning normally. I kinda hate the echo. I'll, I'll be honest. Kinda hate the echo. You wanna turn around? Turn around. Turn around. Bright eyes. You, uh... Oh, you're just, like, staring at me. Well! Here I am. 
Let's actually go after this guy first. That's kind of annoying. Actually, these guys might give more points, so let's go after these guys. Well, at least until we uh, um, get that, we can, uh, well... Yeah, we'll Phoenix strike this guy to death. Yeah, these guys don't have a whole lot of, uh, defense. All systems functioning normally. Alright, what do we get? Uh, Medkit M, Revive M, and 100G. Wow, 100 whole G. And update file 14! Well... Guess we're gonna have some database reading. Um, just locations. All right, let's take a look. Okay, file planet Atalia. A small planet affiliated with the Galaxy Federation that serves as a relay point between planets in all directions. Its population is not particularly large since most people going from one planet to another will pass through Atalia at some point. It has more travelers than permanent residents. Its good weather makes it a comfortable place to live, but most of the planet has been zoned off for the resort homes of the rich and powerful. There is a lodging section for visitors, but the rates there are astoundingly high. Most people only visit this planet as a relay point on the UMN transfer column to their destination. Planet Keltia. Uh, a planet neighboring 5th Jerusalem. Diameter approximately 21,500 kilometers. Planetary development is said to have taken a mind-numbingly long amount of time, but now it is a rich and varied planet, with six billion people living their lives in a vast, temperate landscape. Keltia is the home planet of Julia and Chloe, the Seraphim sisters, for whom Captain Matthews has fallen head over heels. They're currently on a major tour celebrating the group's one-year anniversary. Planet Sinir. The skies of this planet are always covered with in thick clouds. Due to this weather, there are only a few residential zones where citizens live. Since land prices are low planet-wide, it is covered with small business headquarters, branch offices, and research buildings. The UTIC organization has been using this planet as a cover for a testing facility that conducts secret research. This is why Andrew tried to come here after the Woglinde disaster upon being rescued by the ELSA. The Galaxy Federation regards the UTIC organization as a terrorist group for the role it allegedly had in causing the Milshin conflict to break out. It has gone underground to escape pursuit, but its power is not withered, and it, is, and it still has facilities across many planets. And that's uh, the last one. Yeah, planet Tessadora. The capital planet of the autonomous state of Tessadora. Diameter, 12,500 meters. Gravity, 1.02 times that of Earth. The planet is located in the farthest part of space from the Galaxy Federation's chief planets, but it has a Federation-affiliated Marine Force, the 117th Marine Division. However, Andrew and other UTIC organization agents had infiltrated the Tessadora's Marine Division that went with the cruiser Woglinde to investigate planet Ariadne. From this, there arises the possibility that UTIC, organiza that UTIC organization remnants are strong in Tessadora's government and military. Alright, so... Not a whole lot, but a couple items. We do, after all, want to get to 100% uh, on the database. Because... reasons. I think there was a crystal down here. Yep. I'll take that anti-crystal. The crystal had an anti-crystal in it. Hmm. I love pressing buttons. That is quite a lot. I'm not sure exactly where the... Uh, there is a button up here that will allow us to get to the other uh, thing. Well, shoot. Yeah. 
didn't intend to get a uh, non-back attack. A little disappointed by that. Man, you guys hate chaos. I say that, and then uh, he goes after Cosmo. Uh, uh, Probably heal up. Oh! Well. Ow. It's fine. Two turns to crystallization. That's fine. We are not actually going to deal with that. Special attack. Phoenix strike. Mmm, so good. We won. He can do a lot of damage with that against Gnosis with a critical hit. And a level up for Jin. That actually makes Jin higher level than Xion. Uh, I don't think we really need to do that. Push that button. Mm, there we go. All right, let's go back and uh, get that. We want all the goodies we can get. All the goodies shall be mine. I like goodies. Not sure if the uh, enemies will be back or not. All right, I think it's uh, down here. Nope. I'll blow it up just because I can. Uh, okay. It's uh, one of the other paths. Hope you guys like uh, the sound of Cosmos' uh, shoes. Oh, and if I haven't mentioned it, this of uh, this background music, of course, has uh, um, an element of the Song of Nephilim in it. Whether that's relevant in any way is uh, left to be seen. Are you not going to turn? You're not going to turn, are you? Yeah, that's a dead end. You are not going to turn, are you? And I could use a trap, but that almost feels like a waste. Alright. Just go up to the Manticore, it's easier. I don't think we'll be getting a, a finishing finish strike on these guys. Ow! Stop it! Bad Gremlin! I would hope so. Required revert M. All right, what do we get? Ooh, decoder a one. Nice. All right, we have not found the segment address though. Definitely worth going to get. I really could do without the echo in this place. I think that uh, button at the very beginning of this area, um, once we get to the end, it's uh, an elevator to go back kind of thing. I think that's what it is. Maybe that platform up there. That would be nice. Shall have to see. Anything down this way? Maybe. Nope. Disappoint me, game. Disappoint me. For the last time. Well, no, it won't be the last time. 
Yeah, at least it won't disappoint me nearly as much as uh, Xenosaga 2 disappointed me. Alright, there is something else to do there. I guess it's going to be that button. Let's go get this item first, though. Or, I assume it'll be an item. Yes, it is. Gimme. Skill upgrade A. Well, that's not too, too bad. I figured that's what it would do. This is a very interesting system here. I love back attacks. Oh, hey! Uh, let's try the special attack Phoenix Strike on that guy right now. What? You're kidding me. That should have done a hell of a lot more damage. Well, shoot. That was a back attack. Almost tempted to swap out for uh, weak people to uh, build a break gauge back up. Well, at least we broke him. Not that it matters that much. Well! Oh, hey! Let's go ahead and use it. I, I want... I want my points. Ooh, pretty nice. Well, at least you don't need to be cleaned anymore, uh, Cosmos. Move? Yes, indeed. Alright. Got a little bit more to go. Nope. Get, get, get it! Yes! Haha! <laughs> back attack. I love back attacks. I don't know why Chaos did less damage uh, on the back attack. Very weird. Actually, not very uh, happy with the damage that we're dealing here. Nice dodge. Those uh, points I put into evasion are coming in handy. That gets us up to two. That gets us a special attack. Hmm. I don't know why it did less damage. That's weird. Alright, all of you guys are level 19, so let's go ahead and swap some of you out. How is how are Ziggy's footsteps quieter than Cosmos's? <laughs> you gonna go the other way? You gonna turn around? Dang it! Ow! At least you got a critical there. I don't know why you keep trying to tell this guy your password, Ziggy. Ow! Way to go, Ziggy. Thanks a lot. Well... Oh, this is only level one? Oh, shoot. Why ten years? I 
Uh, but yeah, it looks like we need to play around a little bit more with uh, Junior and maybe Ziggy. I don't know. I need to check what his level is. I thought I got everyone up to level 2. I thought I fought enough with them. Well, at least we have a few more opportunities. How was that not a back attack? Come on! Uh, let's see. Special attack? Nope. Okay, penetrate is level 2. So I just need to work on, uh, juniors then. Well, we got a critical there, at least. Jeez, that guy's doing a lot of break damage. Holy cow! Then again, they might just need, they might just not have a whole lot of break in them. All right, well, let's uh, see if we can get. Junior back on his feet. No, nope. there goes uh, Ziggy. No, nope, no, nope, that was uh, against Junior. Okay, I thought that was against uh, Ziggy. You want to get out of breath? Thank you. Oh, great. Eh, it's fine. Oh, well, now it's level two. Thought we might as well use it. Okay, let's go with a little bit of ether here. I may buy uh, the items that increase break limit. Thank you. Glad we got a back attack here. Um, let's actually go for the goblin here. We're not actually doing more damage to him. That's probably going to be enough. Let's go with it. Hope you don't do 500. Why are you doing less damage? I don't get it. Yeah, poison is pretty bad in this game. Well, at least there's a save point here. Is there... Is there a way down someplace? Could have sworn there was. Or is it just that, uh... You can... Come up. Oh, hello. I don't think... I think that is the way to progress. So is there something here? Nope. I figured that there would be something here with this, uh, raised platform. Huh. Well, how much time do I have left on this episode? Not a whole lot. Um... Maybe it's not through here. Maybe, it is, maybe it's through here. Let's see. Actually, I should go save it. I'd kind of like to hit up the shop again, uh, and there was a shop at the very beginning. So, that's a thing that I would like to hit up. I suppose I could run all the way back there. Oh, 
Oh, that's fun. Uh, maybe this is it. No? Alright, well... I think that's moving on to the next area. I think we're gonna have, like, uh, cutscenes and stuff like that, so... I think I am gonna run all the way back, see if we can, uh, trigger the, um... The thing. Otherwise, I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff to, uh, boost up my break limit, uh, for everyone, and, uh... When we come back, we will be right here. See you then, everyone.